Hey guys, so I've been trying to switch to making more all natural options um, from scratch. And so uh, ranch is one of those things that we've gotten rid of. Number one, because it was getting too expensive at like $10 a container for the Hidden Valley Ranch. And plus it just had some um, iffy ingredients in there. So now I'm just making it from scratch. As you can see, I'm almost out and I have guests this weekend. So I wanna make sure that we have ranch um, for the salad that I'm going to make for our get together this weekend. So I'm just going to walk through how to make this ranch with you. Um, I have here uh, just all of the assorted ingredients that I'm going to need. I'll go uh, through the amounts that you need to make yours. Um, but the first ingredient that you're going to need is uh, buttermilk powder. So I get this big bag from Azure Standard and um, it's a five pound bag. And the benefits of having buttermilk powdered is that it's always available when you need it. So some of you might pick up a container of buttermilk and make a, some buttermilk pancakes and some biscuits, um, maybe even a cobbler. I'm naming all things I've made with buttermilk recently when I got a, gal a half gallon on sale for $1.60. Um, but it doesn't take a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And so the buttermilk just sat and sat and sat like even past its expiration date. I did use it past its expiration date. Um, but with the powdered buttermilk, you don't have to worry about it going bad. It's shelf stable. You can keep it as long as you need it and you can just scoop off what you need um, for your recipe. So anyhow, for this recipe today, we are going to use one cup of this powdered buttermilk. So let me just bring this front and center and then I'll go through each of the items. So I'm just going to scoop off this one cup of buttermilk. And this is just to make the ranch powder, um, which is great for seasoning to put on potatoes, um, steaks, uh, just whatever you want to throw it into. But you can also make the dips and the dressings with it. And so um, I'll do a second one on a uh, second video on how to make that. So I put the one cup of buttermilk powder in here. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in three tablespoons of parsley. So much of the greenery that you see in ranch comes from a mixture of parsley and chives. So it's going to be three tablespoons of each one of those. So I'll go ahead and get that added. Uh, the parsley gives it a nice bright green. Um, but parsley, to me, it, um, when it's fresh, it almost has like a bitter flavor. It's not my very favorite herb but chives are where more of the flavor is going to come from. And so, um, but it is, it's a little bit darker uh, than the parsley. So just three tablespoons of that. And I get my spices from a variety of places. So like the parsley I got on sale uh, at my local grocery store. And then the chives, I got those when they were on Salt Thrive Market. Um, and I do order spices from Azur as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in the three tablespoons of onion powder. So a lot of that sharp um, bite that you get from the uh, ranch is the tang is going to come from the buttermilk and the sharper bite is going to come from the garlic and the onion powder um, that's in it. So go ahead and get that added. And then garlic, we're going to put in um, a tablespoon of garlic powder. That's close to the equivalent of about three um, small cloves of garlic, of fresh garlic. And then the next ingredient is uh, two teaspoons of dill. I, dill is one of my favorites. It grows super easy. Um, but right now what I have is this all-purpose dill. So I used to be a Pampered Chef consultant and I stocked up on this stuff. Um, it is so good and it has a mixture of some different herbs, salts, um, or not salts, it's salt-free. Um, dillweed, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, herbs, and spices. So I like to add this into my ranch just because it gives it a little bit of a better kick. Um, you can just use regular uh, dried dill as well. So two teaspoons of this, and then we have the salt and pepper, and that's just your basic uh, to balance it all out. So salt, we're going to do one and a half teaspoons, and I am just using this uh, fine crystal sea salt, just one and a half there, and then a teaspoon of pepper, and that's it. You just give it all a stir, and it is ready to go. So 
I hope you guys see how easy it is to make what would cost $10 um, from the grocery store and a more natural option. So now that I've given it a little mix, let me just show you, look at all that seasoning. 